Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Vickers Western Store here in Pocatello, Idaho. And today we are taking a look at this incredibly awesome Hondo Boot 2026. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, guys, I am on the road right now with Hondo Boots as Phil visits all of his clients here, or many of them, throughout the West. And our first stop was Vickers Western Store here in Pocatello, Idaho. And I saw this one, and it just jumped right out at me because I have not seen this boot before from Hondo, and it's got a couple of cool features that I've never seen in a boot before. And uh, I guess that's just what you're gonna get from Vickers Western Store. So if you are ever in Pocatello, you gotta stop by this store because it is awesome. They got everything here, but let's quit, you know, talking about that and get straight into the rundown. This Hondo model number 2026 is waxed cowhide on the foot and the counter, and it is just beautiful. The first thing that pops out to me on this boot is that green wrinkle and bug here on the toe. Maybe I would call that a, a Hondo U-toe, but uh, it's not super, super round like what we would usually see on a roper. I really like this toe shape a lot. It's also a really tall boot. This is a tall top for sure, coming in at 16 inches tall with a beautiful green cowhide shaft as well. This is so cool. And then I love the fact that they put this waxed cowhide collar or crown up here too with that same distinct green stitching all the way around. I just love the contrast of this green stitching. It's, it drew my eye to it right away. Down here for a heel, we got a two inch leather stacked heel. So it is a little bit taller, but also you have a pretty significant spur shelf here too. We have a leather outsole with the lemonwood pegs and the brass nails, but this is a double leather outsole. So you got an extra piece of leather in here. So it's gonna last you a lot longer than what the average just single layer leather outsole would. This is seriously a beefy, beefy outsole that we never see on this job. I've never done a video with a boot that has an extra piece of leather here on the outsole. That is really, really impressive. Then on the inside, of course, traditionally made Hondos, what else to expect than completely leather lined all the way through. And of course, you got that hard leather insole in here as well. So this is a super traditional boot that looks incredible. The Hondo 2026 is also made in Mexico and is coming in at $259.99, which seems like a really reasonable price for a tall boot like this and the way that it's made. I'm really interested to try this, this uh, double stacked <laughs> outsole here uh, just to see how it feels. So let's try this boot on and check it out. All right, got the Hondo 2026 on right now and it feels great. Oh man, guys, I love the traditional make of a Hondo boot and I don't want to bend this boot too much to sort of uh, make the oils distribute over because this is a waxed so when you're when you're going to bend it it's going to get lighter in some areas but i kind of want to see how difficult that extra piece of leather in the midsole is so you got the welt then you got the extra piece of leather in the midsole and then the leather outsole as well so that'll give you a little bit extra time if you want it to run uh, a little bit risky before ruining the insole and, and going and pushing a hole all the way through. So gives you a little bit extra time, but it is considerably, uh, considerably more difficult to bend. So it's going to take you much longer time to break in a boot like this than it would if you just had that single leather outsole rather than the, the two layers there but it feels real sturdy, that's for sure. If we go POV, you can just look at it. Look at the way that green just pops in this camera angle here. Man, that is 
that is eye-catching for sure let me know what you think of that in the comments um i'm sure that would be too much for many out there it might be even a little bit too much for me but hey i'm kind of excited about it right now the two inch heel is noticeably different since the last boot i just tried here had a roper heel which is about one inch so uh, it is very noticeably different in this boot but it doesn't feel bad it doesn't feel awkward it's like the last and the way that it's supporting the arch at the same time it just sort of feels a little bit natural uh, the spur shelf there is nice even if you're not going to be wearing spurs all the time because it will as you can see uh, hold up that those those jeans so it's going to make for a really nice stacked look if that's the way you wanted to go which will allow you to really show off that heel if you were just wearing these around and you weren't going to be working in them or riding in them or anything like that I like these boots, but you guys already know how I feel about Hondo, and pretty much all Hondos are the same, except for this one here, just has an extra layer of leather on that midsole, so it just feels much more stiff than any other Hondo that I've ever tried. All right, guys, many of you know that I am a huge fan of Hondo. I love the construction. They haven't changed how they've made a boot since they started in the 1960s, so they've been making a boot the traditional way for, 50 plus years like it's crazy um and this is another awesome traditionally made boot here with that extra layer of outsole here and the midsole is what it is is that little bit extra you can see the layer there and it does make it much more stiff right it's going to take a lot longer to break this boot in but it gives you a little bit extra warning, a little bit extra protection if you did want to try to wear through that midsole, that little extra layer that you have here. Would not recommend it. As soon as you run through this first layer, definitely consider getting your boots resold or at least have a half sole. But uh, this is a beautiful boot. Love the green. You might be going either way on it. Um, it. It definitely pops, so it might depend on the day uh, and how you're feeling that day. But the green on this boot is pretty cool it's pretty cool um, I'm digging it so let me know what you guys think of the Hondo model number 2026 down in the comments and if you're ever passing through Pocatello Idaho you gotta stop here at Vickers Western store because it is amazing they have so much here and so much downstairs too and VickersWesternStore.net if you guys enjoyed this video or were entertained by it please consider subscribing I really appreciate your views today and I will see you next time. Peace. You gotta be impressed by the 2026 With an outsole that's twice as thick As any other boot you might want to get And this one just won't quit. No. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video that I have up here about the Hondo 7875. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.